And we're back. This is the project that keeps on giving, let me tell you. Okay, so there's three of these babies. Hang on a second. I'm back. Okay, this is the project that keeps on giving. So, out of these three things, uh, we've gotten a lot of material, <laughs> video material. Let me explain. Uh, so what I did was I have finally finished all the resin coatings that I'm going to do on these. And I decided I was going to spray. I was like, what, it, what would make this look even more awesome? But to spray the sides with Krylon gold spray paint. My friend had this. She was spray painting charger plates for her wedding and then realized that she could buy gold plates for cheaper, so she has lots of this gold. I said, Vicki, bring me a can of your gold. So this is what we're doing with it. I sprayed these, but before I sprayed them on the wood, I gave it a good sanding, and then I taped it along the back, and I taped it along the top because I didn't wanna deal with all of the overspray. However, I did end up getting some overspray on here anyways. And it actually leaves quite a little line. Now, let me just see if you can see on here. Maybe not. See, so this one, I've already cleaned most of the top. There's, I've left a hint, just a little hint of a bit of a fleck of gold overspray. But it goes, so I'm going to leave it. This one I've done. This one I have also done and it's looking, so what I was doing, I thought, oh, here we go, up in this top corner, I still have a tiny bit of like this line. It may be very impossible to see on the video. I'll see if I can't get up close and personal and cut to it for you. But where my washi tape sat, you can see a really harsh line, and I don't want to see the harsh line. I don't mind having a little bit of overspray spray flack, but I don't want to see this like ridiculous like tape line. So I decided I was going to take a little bit. First of all, I started with rubbing alcohol, which is dumb because that actually doesn't work. So I'm just going to show you just a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And I mean, elbow grease, of course, will get it off. Um, but I'm not willing to work that hard. I mean, I would if I couldn't get it off any other way. Now, I could have used a razor blade to ch -ch -ch scrape it off, but then I risk ruining my not perfect, but almost perfect resin. So I said, forget that. And then, so I also have acetone and nail polish remover. Nail polish remover is not 100% pure, um, acetone it's mixed with a bunch of other stuff so because I was being cautious and I was worried that I was going to ruin my surface first tried nail polish remover and it does work again I don't know if it's the elbow grease that's getting it off or the actual chemical but at any rate I worked at this one for quite a long time before I finally pulled out the big guns which is the 100% acetone. Now I'm just going to leave those there. This one has not been finished. You can clearly see, yeah, you can. You can clearly see around the corner where the overspray happened. I was not careful when I did this one. I was a little more careful with these guys. I put some, you know, I. I protected them. I actually turned them upside down and sprayed them. So, but this one, one of my edges was terrible. This one, it just was terrible. So I picked up the spray gun and just went and it sprayed all across the top, leaving this really nasty line. So we're going to, I'm, I thought I was terrified to use actual acetone because I have used acetone on surfaces, plastic surfaces. And it has mm, like made it really flat and gross. So I decided to go step by step. And then when I found that it didn't wreck my resin coating, this is art resin, by the way. Um, 
I was like, I have to put this on YouTube. I am going to share this with people because there might be an instance where you want to clean the top of your piece because you've got paint or spray or whatever on it and you don't want to scratch. You may be in your exact same position as I am right now. So I am going to on camera use acetone. I know it doesn't look like this is acetone, but it actually is. If you had spray -o vision you would be able to smell it. And I am going to just go at it and look at how, look at how easy that is. Watch right here. Okay, well, I obviously have to use more elbow grease. Get it off. So it's starting to come off. And so that harsh line is not there anymore. Also, my shine is still there and it's coming off on my pad. So that was the most important thing. I was like, oh my God, am I going to ruin all of this resin that I just put on? And I don't. So that's a good thing. Now you can just watch. Now the camera may actually move around a bit. Let's just see if we can do this without... Rub it on the table. Mm -hmm. Woo! I work with acetone every single day because I do nails. Well, no, that's not true. I don't work with acetone. Well, yes, actually, I do work with acetone every single day. Ah. Uh, so fun fact about acetone, it is not actually considered a poison on the poison control. It is something that uh, ketones happen naturally in the body. So for all of you out there that are like, oh, you're not wearing a respirator. Oh my God, you're not wearing gloves. Don't worry about it because as you burn body fat, your body naturally expels something called ketones. And so it's very normal in the body. It's not a poison. You could, please do not do this, but you could ingest acetone and not too much harm, if any harm. So that's a little fun fact. You can, you can search that and try to prove me wrong for all those trolls out there looking for something to do today. But I promise you, you will not die from touching acetone. It's a natural, it's a really great cleanser but you cannot put it on some surfaces because it will take your finish off. Not art resin, not art resin, by the way. So there, I have gone over it. I'm gonna just take a little bit of alcohol, 99, because I wanna just give it a wash. I just don't, I'm just gonna give it a clean up, get rid of any residue. Ooh, it looks smart. And then I can also go to the edges and not fear um, wrecking my paint. So there we go. Look at that. It's nice and shiny, shiny, shiny. Ooh, look at that. Okay. There you go. Doesn't wreck art resin. Thanks for watching. These pieces are going into something, a market that I'm doing this weekend. Uh, so I just wanted to, you know, let you guys have the opportunity. Um, if you like this, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, go and subscribe, um, hit the bell. So you get notifications of the videos that I do. I try to put a video up at least once, once a month, but I have been known to do three or four. I experiment with what I'm doing. And if I find something interesting, I videotape it and then I give it to you. And so, yeah. Like it, share it, do all those things that YouTube wants you to do to keep, you know, your ratings. Up. I don't understand it. I'm just here to put out videos, but I need you to like it too or no one else will find it because of the algorithms. I don't know that I really understand it. But anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share. All the things I just said that I'm saying again because now I'm being awkward. Go have a great day. Have a great day. Find me on Instagram. It's JD's Creative. Bye.